today I'm going to be unboxing the Arix um, cable modem. As you can see here, this is uh, the surfboard uh, DOCSI 3.1 cable modem. Um, this is the original retail uh, cable modem. So basically, this was the original company that started up uh, making a uh, modem. So this modem uh, support up to 10 gigabits um, per second uh, download speeds. Um, this uh, modem has two 1 gigabit internet ports, ideal for gigabit plus internet packages offered by cable providers. So as you can see there, the model number is SB8200. And in the front of the box, you can see of the design of the modem, of how it's going to look. And it says here at the bottom, compatible with major US cable providers. And it shows in the front, Xfinity and Colts. Um, I'm going to be replacing my current uh, modem from Optimum. So this is the one that I'm going to be using, as you can see there. So let's look around uh, the box. So here it says, Aris. Surfboard uh, 3.1 cable modem SB8200. What's inside the box? The surfboard modem SB8200, Ethernet cable and power supply, ideal for gigabit plus internet packages. So, regulatory slash agent approval. So, now let's go to the back. So, basically, the package that I have for my internet is 400 megabytes. So, this is going to be uh, future approving um, my modem so when Optimum decides to go uh, higher I'm already gonna be up to date so I can get a uh, better speeds so here if you like you can pause the video and read this for yourself this is more information about the modem these are the modem features as you can see there so this is a really good modem uh, to stream in 4K, as you can see there, 4K Ultra HD beta streaming. There you go. So now, this is the last one. You can only see the name there. So now, uh, let's get this box. So I already broke uh, the seal ahead of time. There you go. So the first thing that we see is our illustration here that says a surfboard. And it shows um, how you're supposed to connect uh, the modem. It says um, coaxial cable connection. So you're going to plug it from the wall to the uh, modem itself. Then power supply. Here at the top, as you can see, we have two Ethernet connections. So we can connect uh, to laptop or to desktops or the router itself. It doesn't really matter. So the first thing that we have in the box is the modem itself, as you can see there. So now let's uh, remove it from the packaging. Okay, as you can see here, this is not uh, that big. It is uh, a decent size, as you can see there. Based on the images that I was seeing online, I thought that this was gonna be bigger. So this is how it look. We have a lot of ventilation. There you go, the two ethernet ports. Where we connect the coaxial cable and the power at the bottom and then the four feet at the bottom as you can see right there and then at the front we have uh, the name aris so power internet and i don't know what the other two are i think this download and upload and then software at the bottom sb8200 so now let's continue to see what else we have uh, in the box Okay, so at the bottom we have more papers, so we're going to wait and let's check what we have here. So let me get this open and then we're going to come back. Okay, so you get this open actually from the side, as you can see there. Okay, let's see. I'm doing this with one hand, so let's, uh, please be patient. Okay, there we go. So here we have... The Ethernet cable, as you can see right there. A 
see what we have here. Here we have the power cable. There you go. This is how the connection looks. Okay. So this is uh, a 1.2 and an output of 12 volt of 2 amps. As you can see there. So now that's everything that comes in the box. So now let's take a look at the other papers that were inside uh, here of the original box. So here we have uh, it says having trouble, call us at that number. So that's it. Next we have safety and regulatory information. And then we have the quick start guide as you can see here. So it tells you everything that is supposed to be coming in the box, as you can see there. The support information card, quick start guide, software license and regulatory card, Ethernet cable, power supply, and the modem itself, as you can see there. Okay, so here it shows you what the from a panel LED status means. So the one on the top is the power. Then the second one is receive, send, and online. Okay. So now I'm going to show you the current um, modem that I have from my provider. As you can see here, this is also from Ares, but this is a brand that, uh, from Optimum. So as you can see there, this is the current, the current box that I have right now. So this is the one that supports the 400 megabytes. Uh, of my package uh, for the internet as you can see there and now I'm gonna be getting a replace uh, for this uh, new modem so cause I'm not gonna be paying the provider $10 uh, extra a month on my bill so now I'm gonna be removing that uh, fee out of my bill so as you can see this is the side difference so it is really small as you can see right there space as you can see there it is really small compared to the one that is being provided by my um, internet provider as you can see there so now I'm gonna be replacing uh, the modem and then I'm gonna show you uh, the modem uh, turn on and everything so I will be back okay guys as you can see here I already plugging uh, the new modem so as you can see here on the back I already connected the Ethernet cable right here on the top and the coaxial cable is right at the bottom and the power follows it right at the bottom so the only thing I need to do is just um, finish inserting the power cord into the modem so it can finally turn on so now let's do that so you can see it turning on for the first time there you go so now let's give it like a minute or two so it can uh, boot up all the way Okay guys, so I'm going to do a follow-up video showing you how to get these uh, modem working uh, with Optimum. So basically, I either have to get in contact with them to customer support or I can do it right on my desktop um, uh, through the browser itself. So if anything, I will make a follow-up video showing you um, how to get this uh, modem working. So thank you very much for watching my video. If you like my video, please click the like button. You can also subscribe to my channel so you can get more content. If you have any question, please leave it down below. Thank you for watching my video. Bye-bye.